Prototyping is important because though in CAD you can get an idea of what things are going to look like, you never know until you actually try it. So the prototypes are all proof of concepts and, um, and stuff like that. This year we did a number of different shooter prototypes from pneumatics to um, using an arm to throw it um, and then we even used rollers at one point. Um, and we did collecting as well, so we did different versions of collectors with different wheels to try to see what the best type for that is. And we did one with the surgical tube, and that worked really, really well. But the concept behind pulling that back and retracting it to have a consistent shot is just uh, a lot more effort and not very simple to do. There was also a basket-based surgical tubing design, and that worked really well as well. But it had the same problem as the normal surgical tubing, which is the winching system and the, the different distance of shooting. The final prototype we did was a version where it's got an arm that swings up and it's got chains and sprockets on it uh, with the motors down low. And that allows us to vary the power and the speed of our shot to make it uh, a consistent shot every time. Alright, can we do 100% this time? That is powered through two mini sims on each side, each um, going into a tough box mini gearbox. And when it spins, we're able to vary the power and get enough speed and enough torque to shoot it really well. We went with that design because it was a very powerful and effective shooter, but was also able to vary the power each time. So if we need to shoot really far, we can do that. Or if we want to shoot shorter, we can shoot shorter as well. The simplistic design is needed because when you've got a lot of moving parts, there's a lot more that can go wrong. So the simpler the design, the simpler it is to fix if it goes wrong, and the better it will be mechanically so it won't break as often.